so I just want to thank God and I want to quickly, quickly right now bring in person the woman of God. I don't know if she's here right now. Evangelist Shalom Shukuka. Hi, woman of God. We're excited God bless you, to see you. Thank you so oh, much for joining us. Thank you. We are so excited. You can see it from me. I can't even stop smiling. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Very well, Ma. Very well. It is it is important for us to know when my sister, I, I want to first of all thank God for who he is and thank God for my sister, the woman of God, Prophetess Uju. You a sister, like you said, we've known for more than five years and we have had a walk with God. Mm. And I want to declare and tell you that every relationship that does not draw you closer to the Father, you mm. need to cut it off. Every time she's telling me, woman of God, I want more of God, I said, your, your, your desire shall be met. And I said to him, I said to her, without God, we are nothing. I said, dear pants for the water brook, so does my soul. So does my being test for God. God, God's servant, God things that are given to us. Our mind is judged. And I'm telling you, some of us have spiritual leprosy. We need to bring repentance to God. We need to repent. And then Elisha said, did my spirit not go with you? Where are you coming from? Ah, I just, ah, my Lord. You can imagine how many times you say something else, you mean something else. They send you something else, you do something else. God gives you this instruction, you choose your own. God gives you an instruction through a man or a woman of God that is serving you. You take another one. You take another path. You are so full of yourself. Who is he to tell me what to do? Is he my God? No, he is the brand. He is the tree that you see. You can't bear fruit. Mm, come on. You can't jump to heaven. And Gehazi carried the, his spoil. His, his evil pretended. He kept pretending. That is still worship. Abuse of still worship. You be caught up. And the man said, you shall become a leper. A lot of us in service are suffering spiritual leprosy. Mm. Because of the arts, because of our, of our mind, because of our heads. But there is a way you can bring it. Repent before God and make a deliberate effort to walk in the path of the right state. Yes, I may not know. You may not know, woman of God. Even everyone here, things may be happening around you. You don't know what is happening. Don't worry. God is going to hold everyone accountable. Mm. They will experience spiritual leprosy. Sometimes things look like they don't work. Why? Because we are on that spiritual leprosy. Mm. Before you know it, you're losing things. Not this thing, every day you jump from one Alter to the other from one prayer to the everyone's lay hands on you. Why? Because you need to examine yourself. Come on. The Bible says, judge yourself so you will not be judged. That's right. And put yourself on the take care. Be mm. willing as a steward. You have to yield myself afresh to God. I have to bring it to the test of what I repent. The moment, the pride. The drunkenness, woman of God, I will drink Remy Martin and I lay hands on the sick, they recover. Hey, Jesus. A steward. Jesus. And my hands were always like this. When you talk, I said, Do you know me? Mm. I hope you will not get to that place. Some people get to the place and they never had a chance. I'm living on a second chance and I will mm. never take it for granted. Mm. And I want you to know it is important. It is expedient. It is necessary that you turn around as the still one listening to mm. me today. That the Holy Spirit will do a quick walk in your life. That you will not lose your reward in the name of Jesus. You will not lose your reward in the name of Jesus. You will not 
use your reward Amen. in the name of Jesus. You will Amen. not be given the leprosy of Gehazi in Amen. the name of Jesus. You will not be weighed in the Tekel. And then we are found wanting in the name of Jesus. I ah, come, Lord Jesus. Yes. Come, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Our heart cry this day should become Lord Jesus. Mm. We should not be afraid of eternity. I am not afraid mm. of eternity. If I close my eyes today, I know that I will see the King. I know that I will see the King. And I know there are still things in me that need to go. I want you to say, Lord, take away, take away everything in me that is not of you. <laughs> we may not know. We may not see it. The pastor will not know. Your leader may not know. The church may not know, but there is a God that searches the heart. I wonder how Gehazi, how they are seeing themselves, children yet on board, carrying the leprosy. Oh. It became a system that has been put in place because of one error. I don't know the error that, she, that is in your life. I don't know. At this word, there is a God that sits over you. Mm -hmm. It's not the woman of God. It's not your pastor. It's not me. You have to just get it right. You have to get it right. Everything is real. It is real. Nothing should matter to us now because Jesus is at the door. When people say, come and do this thing for the Lord, you think it is for the woman or the man of God or for the church. It is unto the Lord. Apostle Paul says, serve him as unto the do it, do it. Even if the woman of God doesn't see you, the man of God or the pastor doesn't see you, there is a reward. There is a reward. There is a reward and gross darkness is on the face of the earth. There is a reward. There is a reward that there's a God that tries my heart. There's a God that tries your heart. There's a God that weighs you on the tekel to stay your, what you weigh on the balance. May God help us and save our generation from destruction. Amen. May God help us. And sometimes and I'm wondering, Apostle Paul said, and when they wanted to crucify, they crucify me upside down. Then did not be like the Lord. And then today, everybody has their programs and their agenda. Nobody's looking for God's agenda, Stewart. What did you come to the earth with nothing? Naked, you came naked, shall you return? Naked, I came. You will live with nothing. You will live without the gold. You will live without the silver. You will live without everything you think you own. Nothing is going with you to eternity. Take care. Nothing. Be serve God in truth and in spirit. Do it right. Not unto any man, but unto the Lord. Not unto any man. How can we have I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about my hard bosses. It's the, it's the, it's the way I feel about the Lord. Ah! And every good shepherd, every good shepherd receives the reward. Every good shepherd receives the reward from God. Every good shepherd, every good um, steward, you'll be blessed of the Lord. Everyone. I don't know what the issue is with our generation. People don't do anything without a prophet. If men don't praise them, they get upset. But there is a God that gave us his only son. He's not upset with all our wickedness. All he wants is for you to love him and serve him in truth and in spirit. Take, take make haste to do the right things as a steward. Get him. Get his attention. Jesus was an example of a real steward. He did say, all oh, that you gave me. I kept them intact. I want to ask you one question. All oh, that the Lord has given to you. 
What is it that you have given to him? Can you say I did it the way the master was? Can you say that? I was so rough. I, I, I didn't even know what I was doing. And I pray for you that the Spirit of God rests on you afresh. I pray for you that you come back to your first love. That you multiply the talent of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Mm. There is a day where you will give accounts not to prophet and to Jew. Not to me, not to any man, not to any woman. You give account to the one that owns it all. To the one that owns it all. I said, my reward is with me. Akadia Bradush, Akala Bradush, Entele Bradush, Ingalia Mananaya. What you know? What is that thing that you have to give up to serve it the poor? I don't know. I don't know what it is. What is that thing stopping? The, 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 the stewardship that God has given you. What is that thing? It is not what your eternity. It is not what your eternity. I see people today, the next day, they are gone. And I say, Lord, what will be in the account before you? If you're sitting and then you're afraid of meeting Jesus, something is wrong with your Christianity. Something is wrong with your stewardship. Something is wrong with your walk with God. And I ask you again, don't be like the rich fool. I have the Lord said tonight, your soul will be required of you. If your soul is required of you, what will you say of your stewardship? Will you be saying, I was so angry with so fast with my set woman, I was, I'm tired, I have to walk. The Lord takes care of the bears of the air. He owns it all. Nothing, nothing is worth anything to me except him, except eternity. If you don't come to that point in your life and serve it with God, you cannot, you cannot have any weight in the realm of the spirit. You must die as a servant. You must have all. You must give all. You must serve. You must give all. Except a grain of wheat dies, falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone. I pray for you. For everything that is alive in you, everything that is of self and human, praise that he may die. That he may die. That you will bear much more fruit. That you will bear fruit for the Lord. That you will go out and win souls for this kingdom. That wherever you find yourself starving, that you will start in truth and in spirit. That the name of the Lord will be glorified. That his kingdom, that his kingdom, that his kingdom will be spread abroad. In the name of Jesus, I'm rounding off right now. As for everyone that is found, every steward that does the right thing, you will stand among angels. Yes, Zechariah 3.1, he said you stand among angels. And divine coverage on earth you will rule. Akia sun tola braduma na hasia katana na Exodus twenty three to twenty five. He said, "I will bless you on all sides." You need to go and read it yourself. Time is running out. Akin dala bradu shata kali brada saya. Psalm fifty five twenty two. He said, "He will take you off you, and he will not permit the godly. You will not sleep or fall." Ekaz ania. The Lord said you will rule over cities. I prefer to rule over cities. I prefer to be made, to be introduced, to be announced before angels than before man. I don't know. I don't know what you're hungry for. I don't know what you're seeking for. I don't know what you think you can do with a life that is not your own, if not yielding and submitting it to the owner of the life. 
Ikanunu, Ikanana, Ikanana, Eprosumunu Hashakala. It's the call. It's a call for all of us to wash our garments. It's a call for us to come before the Lord. Every sin, everything that has stood against your still washing, I will stand as a witness against you. Everything you're doing as a servant in that ministry, in that office, in your home, where men are not seeing you. Truth, the worship are not seeing. They're not seeing. They carry the burden of the Lord's house in their hearts. They are not seeing. They are not seeing when man is seeing you, then you're losing it. Whatever God has given you to do, do it, for he is a rewarder, he is a rewarder, he is a rewarder, so that we will push the kingdom of God forward, in the name of Jesus, thank you Holy Spirit, thank you, and I pray for everyone that has watched this broadcast, I pray for us all, I pray that Christ will be formed in us completely. I pray that the burden of the Lord's house will consume us, O oh God. Lord, that we will seek you as servants, knowing that we are still words of God's resources. We are just standing in, O oh God, and that we will give our lives, that we will give our all, sin or not sin by man, O oh God, that we will do it faithfully, that we will do it knowing that the King is coming, and every eye will see him. Holy Spirit, show us where we've fallen, show us where we have failed. And will come with repentance, oh God, have mercy on us. We keep the fire in our lives and in our service again, oh God. That at last, oh God, you will make an announcement about us to angels and will receive our reward, our crowns, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.